For the Forest City Net Girls, I'm Carrie. I'm June. And I'm Patty. And this is episode 61. Yes, it is. <laughs> yep. Wow. And it's been a little while since yeah. we recorded. Summer gets busy. Mm-hmm. It does. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. So. But we're happy to be here today. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We have yeah. lots of exciting things to show you mm-hmm. and a prize to give away. Um, some FOs. I don't know. Bunch of stuff. Yeah. Right. <laughs> For sure. Yeah. Um, yeah. Do we just want to start talking about our prizes or do we want to talk about the weather? Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> we want to talk about the weather. It's been very hot here. Yeah. Very, very hot. Like mm-hmm. so hot you don't even really want to go outside. No. Um, and it's not even just the heat, it's the humidity that's yeah. really the yeah. killer. So there's been heat warnings mm-hmm. and like... Tornado warnings. Tornado, tornado yes. warnings. We had like we've had a couple major storms mm-hmm. roll through. Um, yeah, it's yeah. Been pretty extreme weather. Very. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I know lots of other parts of the country yes. and the world are also having extreme weather as well. Oh my gosh, but, the UK. Yes. Yes. Yeah. 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 So. The, yeah, we're pretty fortunate because most people where we are have air conditioning. So I. I which isn't normal in the UK. No, no. no. At least, and I couldn't imagine enduring this without it. I just, melting roads and stuff. Oh, oh my, my gosh, gosh, it's insane. Crazy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, the the nice thing about living in Canada is you're prepared for all mm-hmm. the extreme weather because yeah. we get it all. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, yeah. uh, so we we are fortunate to have nice, cool places to shelter in yes. <laughs> from the heat. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 Last night's tornado warning was crazy though. So I live close to the university here in London and discovered that they have a storm siren, um, <laughs> oh, which I've heard oh. like a couple times just like as a test, like you're outside and you hear like a whirling noise. It's right. almost like air raid sirens, I guess you could describe it. But as soon as the tornado warning started, it started and it did not stop until the tornado warning ended. So for over an hour straight, oh, right. All you heard was the siren. Oh. It got a little tiring. I bet. I bet. We were joking that we were in the purge, like the movie. <laughs> what right. is going on? I tried so hard to hear it from my head. I did I as well. it, And then I think yeah. I was imagining it. Yeah. I know. Well, I didn't know where it was coming from originally, so I texted the girls. I'm like, and don't you hear the siren? They're like, no. <laughs> okay. Well, if there's an emergency, we won't yeah. know about it. Yeah. You're going to have to tell us. Yeah. I guess it's there for students on campus, maybe. If they're out and about to tell them to take shelter or something, because oh my gosh, it's never gone that long before. It was really long. Wow. They were serious about the tornado warning, so because like several times throughout the day. Yeah. Um, But I think some. I was watching the news tonight. In some areas, it seems like they they had like out in the country, they had quite a bit of damage to barns and stuff. So. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. They didn't well, say they it was a tornado, but I'm sure they're investigating the pattern of it. Yeah. To see. yeah. Mm-hmm. And I think um, for the communities that live along Lake Huron, Huron mm-hmm. as well, yeah. there, there were, um, there might have been touchdowns yeah. actually, like in the Grand Bend area mm-hmm. sort of thing. Bedford. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. yeah. So, um, but we haven't had heard anything official yet. No. So. No, <laughs> yeah. but it was a good downpour that we got, which was nice. Yes, yeah. mm-hmm. everything's nice and green again instead of crispy brown. Yeah, yeah. broke so the heat temporarily, the but the heat warning's coming nice. back tomorrow. That was mm-hmm. it. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. yeah. Anyway, it changes real. <laughs> yes, it yes. is. So, mm-hmm. so that's our weather update. <laughs> <laughs> Now on to prizes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and we should introduce that we are a, a knitting podcast from London, Ontario. Um, and June and I are sisters, and Carrie's our good friend. Yeah. So now on to prizes. <laughs> <That's good. laughs> um, so our last video, I kind of feel bad that we waited so long mm-hmm. to put um, video again, vlog, whatever again, but. Uh, um, because we had this giveaway going on on our YouTube channel. But anyways, we're here now to give away the prize. Yeah. Um, so we randomly picked from all the comments that were posted underneath our last video, which was episode 60, and picked a winner. And the winner is... 
Carrie will put um, put the picture up, but her name is Lori Blair, and she wrote a very nice comment as well. Um, but Carrie will put it up on the screen, and yeah. you can all. I don't know. Do you want to read that out? Do you want me to? Sure. Okay. I enjoy watching the podcast. I love the way you, that you encourage each other in your projects and ask to try the projects along with you. The mini set is lovely. They would be perfect for a Pandora cowl or solitude. Of course, they could always be used to make gorgeous socks. I'm really enjoying knitting socks right now. That's so nice. That is nice. That is really nice. <laughs> Thank you, Lori, for Thank the nice comment. Mm -hmm. And congratulations mm -hmm. on your winning prize. Yes. Yeah. So, um, I'm not going to take it out of the box, but there are mini skeins in here with, with chocolates that were um, given to us by Ginger Snapback, who mm -hmm. is Kim and Colin. <clears throat> and also, um, I went through a phase of buying these little books where you keep, you know, notes of your projects in and stuff like that. So cute. So I have a bunch of them, but I'm going to donate to the this, really to cute. the prize mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. And then a little thing of soak, and probably a couple other things as well. Nice. Mm -hmm. So I'll mail. Um, so Lori, if you could contact us. Um, probably best either through our email, um, Instagram, or on Ravelry would yeah. be good. Mm -hmm. um, so we can get your uh, mailing address and then I can send this off to you next week. Yeah, that's awesome. Mm -hmm. There are some really good comments too. Like I was like, ooh, that would be a good idea. Yeah, for I mean, it's like all the yeah. cows, a lot of blankets, even using it in color work and sweaters mm -hmm. or some things. Tons socks. of socks. Yeah. Tons of socks. Yeah. But yeah, it was very inspirational to read all the it ideas was. that it you was. used yeah. your minis for. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, fun. So, um, congrats. All right. Um, so now what? Are you the sock? Yeah. Or do you pet, do you pet first because then we can show all those prizes. Oh, yes. Okay. So... On Ravelry, we are only have two um, different things going right now. One is the Year of the Sock, which we'll talk about in a sec. And then the other one is Pet um, Photos and Stories, which is such a lovely thread to go look at. If yeah. you need some cheering up, just go through those photos because <laughs> it's all pets and stories about pets. And it's just really, really cute. Mm -hmm. Um, but we draw every month for um, a winner from that thread and that we gift a pattern of their choice to. And the winner this month is Mystery Sewer. <laughs> and the best she it is. posted the cutest photo of her dog who she knit a hat for. <laughs> <laughs> And he looks absolutely thrilled. <laughs> <laughs> it's adorable. It's so, it's so cute. cute. <laughs> and he looks so good in blue. He does. <laughs> yeah. And uh, we've decided June's knitting yeah. hats for all our dogs. For all yeah. our dogs. They're all yeah. getting yeah. one. So cute. <laughs> and yeah. we'll do a group photo. Like, look at that face. <laughs> oh, he's Aww. like a senior great dame. He's so cute. He's Aww. so cute. <laughs> so congrats. Mm -hmm. um, yes. I will contact you on Ravelry. And uh, send you your prize. <laughs> and then... Oh, did you... S oh, no, right. That's pattern of your choice, right? Sorry. No, mm -hmm. we're talking about socks now. Forget it. I'm okay. all over the place. <laughs> okay. Um, so then our other thread is Year of the Socks. And uh, we are running this um, knit along for the entire year. So it'll end the last day of December. Um, we'll have, t we decided we're going to do two grand prizes for this knit along um, because we have some really great prizes and we thought we'd split them up and, and share them um, to two different winners. And, but every month we also draw um, some winners to receive a sock pattern. This year we have, or this year, this <laughs> month, for the month of June, we have had a couple of designers donate patterns as prizes, so we drew three winners. Two of them are going to get each a pattern from Nancy Wheeler, 
And then the third prize, or the third winner will get, sorry, I am okay. fumbling over my words so <laughs> badly. <laughs> um, um, from another designer called Woolen Knots. And her pattern is called uh, Melting Rainbow Socks. And they are so cute. We'll show Nancy's in a sec, mm -hmm. but this is one of the gifts. Yeah. Which would be a great mini skein set gift. It would. Or pattern. Or scrappy, whatever. So cute. So cute. Um, so the winner of that hair um, pattern is uh, Knit and Pearl. And they knit a pattern by the crazy sock lady mm -hmm. and they're really cute. So adorable. I love the colors. Those are cute. Mm -hmm. Congratulations. Yeah, yeah, congrats. And then the other two winners, I assume Nancy will let them have a pattern of their choice. Yeah, she just okay. she didn't specify okay. the pattern, but so um, the next two winners, this one is Aunt Kimmy. Cute. And she did those socks. Adorable. Cute little shorties. Mm -hmm. And then uh, Dunkery. These are beautiful. It's a mosaic. They're mosaic socks. I think using two different colors, but. Yeah, they're so cool. Yeah. Those are really cool. Mm -hmm. I love those. Me too. Congratulations. Yeah. Congrats. Mm -hmm. Um, so all the winners, um, contact me on Ravelry and I can arrange to have your <clears throat> pattern sent to you by the designers. Nice. And thank you to the designers for gifting your patterns. That's awesome. It is awesome. Thank mm -hmm. you. Do we want to show the grand prizes? Sure. Yeah. They're so nice. So I think on the last podcast we showed this prize yeah. already. <clears throat> so... It is a book called Knit Two Socks in One by the Drunk Knitter. So that book with this beautiful set of Buffalo Plaid's uh, Squishy DK sock. So nice. So that's one of the prizes. I'm sure we'll add to them as we go yeah. too, but this is the beginning of it. <clears throat> and then we got an amazing, amazing surprise from Full Moon Fibers. So this is going to be for the second prize. And it's this beautiful bag by Jessica. It's gorgeous. It's it gorgeous. Is. Like it's and so with pretty. a leather handle. It oh. has a leather handle. Mm -hmm. You can pull the inside out to close it up. Or keep it down like that so it's a nice open bag to get your yarn. So beautiful. So nice. <clears throat> um, sock set. This is flower infusion. Those Pretty. minis. I love them. Isn't that gorgeous? Yeah. It's like, the whole they set. They go perfect. Yeah. It, I think this was a coordinating set, right? Yes, mm -hmm. I think so too. Beautiful. Thanks, ladies, so much. And then the As It Gets mm -hmm. mini it's package. It's my favorite. Oh. I love, love the as it, get, as it Gets colorways are so beautiful. They're yeah. just so vivid. Mm -hmm. And we'll probably use one of these. Actually, we'll add one of these to the other prize because there's two of them. So we'll put one in each prize. Those are so cute. Are they cute? Mm -hmm. Little needle stoppers and stitch markers and a progress keeper. Mm -hmm. And the needle stoppers are little sheep. They're adorable. <laughs> adorable. They're so cute. Thank yeah. you, Jessica yes. and Allison and Thank Kim you. and Colin. Mm -hmm. They're amazing. Prizes. Mm -hmm. Amazing. So these will be drawn in December. Get your socks in. Those are good prizes. And there's a ton you. of socks. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Already there. Mm -hmm. Like I think over a thousand entries. Yeah. Wow. That's awesome. Yeah. 
So thanks. Thanks for <laughs> participating. We, mm -hmm. we love seeing your finished socks. And there is a chatter thread as well if anybody wants to chatter mm -hmm. along. That's, uh, you know, that's totally up to you. But the, all the prizes are drawn from the FO thread, though. Yeah. Nice. So that's it. Congratulations, <laughs> winners, this month. Mm -hmm. Yay! Yay! <laughs> okay, what are we wearing? Um, I'm wearing a <laughs> not knit. <laughs> this cute little um, t-shirt. It's hot it's out, so I didn't feel like putting a knit on. Yep. <laughs> Fair. That was me last time. I didn't have a knit on because I was too hot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I just want to be cool, so. Yeah. <laughs> How about you, June? Um, I had to look at. I'm wearing the lounging top by um, Hoki Locatelli. I, I knit this last summer. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it's really cute. I love the pattern. It has such a nice fit to it. Um, I did mine as a gradient. So mm -hmm. I put uh, three colors together, which was fun. Fun to knit. And it's, it's not hot. Like, I don't feel hot wearing this at all. And um, the yarn that I used is, uh, this one at the top is by Sweet Skein of Mine, and it's, um, it's all superwash fingering weight yarn. Um, and this colorway is so pink, and I love this color. Um, the next one is by Emma's Yarn, and this is so pretty too, and it's called Vacay. I'm so excited. And the last one is Songbird Fibers, uh, Yarn and Fibers, and it's Anna's Hummingbird. Oh, with the more with the, the more of the greens in it. In it. Nice. Oh, that's mm -hmm. pretty. Yeah, they're all pretty. Mm -hmm. It's really cute. It's mm -hmm. kind of a little bit of a high low top. I'm not going to stand up because I have things in my lap. Um, but some of the details that I like is the ribbing at the bottom is just garter stitch. Mm -hmm. um, I like this mm -hmm. detail on the yeah. sleeve. Yeah, I added. That's cute. Yeah, I added that. Mm -hmm. This part in here. Um, this part was the pattern, and oh, then I you added, added some knit rows. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I added this part. I like that. Yeah. I can't remember why. Idea. I can't remember. Maybe to make it a little bit longer? Yeah, maybe. Or so it wouldn't curl? Or so, or yeah, or so it would kind of come in a bit. I think it was a little oh. bit loose. Okay. Mm -hmm. cute. It's very cute. Sure. But I like it. I think it kind of ties the top in with the bottom. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It yeah. does. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anyway, I would recommend this pattern. I, I have knit several hoagie patterns and for my body type they fit me perfectly mm. um the ones that i've knit so i i really like her patterns. she does have really nice mm -hmm. patterns. Yeah. yeah what are you doing i am wearing a new sweater um this is the foramina tee by um andrian perus or also known as the knitting cairo on instagram um i te test knit this for her and it's a t-shirt clearly Mm -hmm. um, sport weight yarn, so you could probably do fingering weight too with it, if you just get your gauge right. And it's got a bit of a yarn over lacy detail here. So and it's knit uh, top down. And then there's like a fun little detail on the cuffs, oh, it's hard to see, but it's like a pass slip stitch over type of thing throughout the ribbing. So, that is yeah. pretty. Is it the bottom ribbing? too, oh. and in the neck. Very pretty. Just like an added it. detail. Mm, so um, nice. Yeah, great pattern, like very clearly written um, for all of this here. I love the fit of it. It's a bit longer. I'll try, sorry, that was really bad. Um, it's a bit longer than what I usually do, but I still like the length of it. Like mm -hmm. it's still. It looks good. It does look yeah. really good. And then the yarn, I love how the pooling happened with the yarn that I picked. That's cool. Yeah. It's kind of funky. It looks yeah, zebra -like. it is. It yeah. is zebra -like. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's Watt Collection, and it's in the colorway Granny Gray. So it's got some, like, pinks, mm -hmm. grays, whites in it. But I think what, like, the first game pretty much was the yoke, where there was a lot of stitches on it. And then once I reduced it to separate for the sleeves and had less stitches for the body, it changed the way the oh. yarn was going mm -hmm. but i think it looks really cool i do too i, I like, like it. it yeah yeah it looks really nice on you too and i it like does. the length yeah me too yeah because yeah. then you don't have to wear a top underneath or anything or well mm -hmm. i grew up in the 90s as a oh. teenager so i always <laughs> have a tank top to. underneath any shirt that so i wear <laughs> it's I from totally like did. being a teenager in the 90s <laughs> it's totally not <laughs> <laughs> anyways um yeah 
So it was the first time I've knit with Lock, and I really, really liked knitting with it. It's merino, but it feels like, I was saying to Patty, I almost feel like I'm wearing like a cotton tee because mm -hmm. it's so light. It's like mm -hmm. linen-y yeah, or something. Feel it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's so light. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> That's nice. So <laughs> anyways, check out her patterns on Ravelry. She's got some really cute patterns. Mm -hmm. We have sock patterns of hers. We've given away. She was actually our very first designer to reach out when we first started podcasting yeah, yeah. and offered her first shawl design as a giveaway for us. Yeah. So we have been having a great connection with her all of these years. So yeah, it's yeah. great to always test knit for her. Mm -hmm. We have the opportunity. You've done her pants. Her pants I've done a sweater so and then this t-shirt. I don't think I've test knit mm -hmm. for her before, but yeah, you should. Yeah. She's mm -hmm. got some good patterns. Yeah, she yeah. does. Oh, well, as soon as that came out, I yeah. got the pattern yeah. because mm -hmm. I love it. And I enjoy yeah, it's it. neat with these little yarn over. It's so right cool. There. Yeah. It's like almost like leaves, leaves. or something. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I love it. It's super comfy. That's all. Nice. Nice. Yes. Awesome. What about right. other FOs? Um, do you want to show these, too? Yeah. Forget what they're called. Do you remember? Oh, Elmina. 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 Oh, yeah. Elmina. Mm -hmm. Elmina. Thank you. Right. So June and I both test knit. Actually, it's Lisa Haynes' pattern, um, and it was she came out. Thinking. She came out with another sock pattern. I think yesterday or this week or something. So this was the sock pattern before. Mm -hmm. So anyways, um, this is a pattern by Lisa Haynes uh, and called the Elmina Sock. Mm -hmm. um, she, it was a cuff down sock and it has the heel flap and gusset heel. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and it's just really cool how she did all her little details yeah. and incorporated everything like this goes flows right into the toe mm -hmm. and the heel does the same it's um, perfect like it as i was knitting these it was amazing me how she figured it all out to have everything line up so perfectly i know yeah mm -hmm. i love that she's now doing socks that mm -hmm. are aligned with her shawls like we did the traces in the sand yeah socks she has the traces in the sand shawl and then did you see the mosaic when she's Yes. testing right now the new one that she just released this week is called walk in the woods and she has a walk in the woods shawl yeah. oh, pattern wow. so i think that's really cool that as is well. cool mm -hmm. um yeah so the yarn that i used is leo and roxy and it is in their movilicious colorway and it's their 80 20 sock yarn that i used nice yeah finest full moon fiber solar sock in the colorway verdant I just love it. I love that color. Me too. And I have to say, these uh, I have hard feet to fit socks on because I have really big feet and wide ankles. And these fit perfect. Like, I love them. I love the fit. They look amazing. Yeah. Now, I did have to go up a needle size because um, the cables, because there is cabling, so it does make it pull in a little bit. But So if you're finding that in the beginning, just, just go up a needle size or just do a swatch. I had to go up a needle size as well. Did, yeah. yeah did. So, so it, yeah. That's a good recommendation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nice. But anyway, love these. I'm excited to wear them now. I've been holding off. <laughs> yeah, and I love Lisa. She's a uh, mm -hmm. really, really good. Mm -hmm. So She's lovely. Such a sweet lady. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, and then, <laughs> and then, <laughs> Carrie and I test knit a pair of socks for Nancy Wheeler, who is Wheel's wife. Um, and these are such a cute little socks. She's been, she has maybe four sock designs out now, and they're all. <coughs> Um, designed after like a bridge or a walkway. Bridge. The other ones were a walkway. I think so. I thought these were called smoke gets in your eyes. Oh, smoke gets in your eyes, but there was a reason. <laughs> That's an interesting <laughs> name for a bridge. <laughs> no. <laughs> the one, the one we did. The Not last. just bridges. <laughs> <laughs> the last pair we did was the boardwalk. The Booth Touche boardwalk. Right. Walk. Maybe yeah. that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> okay. 
So, I don't know, I thought she based this after something as well. Just campfire, smoke. That gets yeah. in your oh, eyes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there you go. Often when you're camping. Yeah. Every, Every time. time. Yes. Stitch pattern in it. That, those are so pretty, both of yours. Yeah. I love your yarn, Carrie. I love, and Karen. I love yours. Too. I love them both. And yours is appropriate because isn't it the camp fiber yarns? It yeah. is camp so fiber yarns. Gets in your eyes. Yeah, yeah. camp fiber with yeah. camp fiber yarns. <laughs> yeah. Really fun pattern. Mm -hmm. It was mm -hmm. also cuffed down. I think in the pattern she has instructions for heel flap and gusset. But yep. On this, I just she also says you know add in any yeah. heel that you mm -hmm. like. And so I think we both probably did the shadow wrap, right? Um, I just did? did short row. Okay. And you did shadow wrap. I did shadow wrap. Yeah. Yeah. And um, then she always does like a nice rounded toe. I'm really mm -hmm. liking the rounded toe. Mm -hmm. I think that's really nice. Yeah. Um, yeah, so as Carrie said, my yarn that I used is camp fiber yarn and it's in <clears throat> her, one of her sock clubs a um, couple months ago. I forget when I got this one, mm -hmm. but it is the Earl Grey Latte colorway. Mm. Pretty. Yeah. It came with a purple mini skein as well, but I, I'll just use the mini skein for something else. Yeah. Yeah. And mine is Leo and Roxy. And I think it was one of my um, quarterly sock yarn boxes that I got last year. Um, the colorway, I believe, is called Night Market. Mm. Oh, it's it pretty. also came it with the pretty. contrasting mini, which I'll use for something else. Mm. What color was mini. the... Um, I think it was like a, it had like Stellina in it. Oh, oh that's Like cool. a greeny Stellina. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's yeah. cool. Yeah. Really nice pattern. I definitely want to knit these as well. I just, yeah, yeah they, they were, were fun. Yeah. They were really what, fun. Is it cabled or? Yeah. Oh, cool. It's like a, it's a four pattern repeat. Oh, nice. Yeah. And it's a cable. just on, I think on one of the rows you have, mm -hmm. you just move stitches. Once. Yeah. Okay. Three it's three stitches. So mm -hmm. yeah. Anyway. Yeah, but you don't do it the other way. Like it's always one way. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. yeah. I love it. Yeah. It's cool, eh? Yeah. Very nice socks. Yeah. So congratulations on your newest sock pattern, Nancy. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. They were fun to knit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Any other FOs? Nope. No. Nope. I have one. I was knitting this, um, I showed it on the last podcast and I finished it. So this is my Inclination Cowl. Um, and I love it. So nice. I know. Very pretty. It's, it was so much fun to knit and it's I want to, I want to knit 10 of them. <laughs> yeah. Cause they're sure. so cozy and mm -hmm. snuggly. Um, so you knit it in one piece and then after, um, of course how, you know, the directions, are all there on how to do it, but you mattress stitch it together. So that's what the back looks like. It's so perfect. I love this finish. It's yeah. just really polished. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah. Um, yeah, so super cozy. It's a neck hugger, which I love. Yeah, nice and cozy for 30 things. degrees Celsius. Yeah, well, maybe not <laughs> for today, but. Maybe you could throw some ice I will, down there. Yeah. Oh, that looks so good, Patty. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's a really nice fitting yeah. towel. I, I really like it a lot. Too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it was fun. So you use two different um, colors of yarn. Um, for her, she used Spin Cycle, uh, which is beautiful yarn. Um, but I used um, Schopel Edition Three in two different colors. Uh, one is one was like neutrals with sort of blue through it, and then the other one had all the reds and oranges and yellows, and there's a bit of pink in there too. They complement each other very well. I know it was that. That's what made it so fun to knit mm -hmm. as well is just to, to see, see how, how the colors. Yeah. You I know, have two combined. different colors of edition three. Huh? You mm -hmm. should knit one, yeah. and the edition three. Um, I can only comment on, I'm sure Spin Cycle is cozy as well, but it's such soft, yeah. silky mm -hmm. yarn. It's like, I don't know, it's just so beautiful. Yeah. And, is it sport uh, make? 
DK. Uh, I think it's yeah. okay. Edition three is DK, mm -hmm. but you could totally use the Zuber balls as well. Yeah. Okay. Which might be actually a little more affordable because there's a lot of yardage. I think yeah. one Zuber ball actually is enough, or one Zuber ball per color is enough to do a whole oh, wow. shawl. And did you have to use two of each? I on did. That one? Yeah. Okay. I had to use <clears throat> I had to use four balls of yarn for this. Yeah. Mm. Oh, so nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Very worth it. Like. Mm -hmm. If that was mine, I would wear that every day. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. I haven't worn it while it's been so hot. Well, no. I never really wear anything until we podcast, so now I can wear it. <laughs> I'll wait until it's cooler then. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I highly recommend this pattern. It's all fisherman's rib, um, which is easy enough to do, um, but you don't really want to make a mistake right I I did make a mistake a couple of times and I found that if I went back like I, if I picked back a few rows I get back on track mm -hmm. um, but I don't know if if I drop a stitch in the first you know when it goes down to the row below mm -hmm. I have no idea how to fix it <laughs> for proficient I'm sure yeah. there's a way but I just picked back a couple of rows and then I was back on track again that's so, good. Yeah. I've experienced that with fishermen's yeah. before too, and it's hard to... Yeah. It's no big deal to yeah. go back a couple no. of rows. Because mm -hmm. the one row is knit. So your wrong side row is okay. always knit. Right. And then on your right side row, when you, you're going below. you pick mm -hmm. up in the stitch below it, right? So mm -hmm. if you go back a couple of rows and go back to the row where you knit, then That's you get easy. back on track. Yeah. Gotcha. Right? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, lovely. That's how mm -hmm. that goes. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, so, what about whips? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Have some whips. Mm -hmm. Who wants to go first? You can go, Jim. Okay. Um, do you want me to move oh, those yes, socks thanks. for you? Thank you. You don't have to hold those. Okay. Anymore. Thank you. So, I think on the last podcast, I showed this yarn and said I was going to knit a sweater and show you guys this podcast, which I did, but I didn't get to finish it. I'm so close. Oh my God. I just couldn't finish That's it last so night. That's so cute. I know. So, I'm knitting it. So, this is, I decided on the Willa sweater, and I'm so glad that I did. It looks, I, it's at the point where I can try it on now, and I just love how it looks, how it fits and looks, and I love it. So yeah, it's the Willa sweater. Um, that is so pretty. Yeah. It's like a big Easter egg. I know. <laughs> it does look but like a Easter egg. But it's <laughs> beautiful, though. It's yeah. so happy. Yeah. I think with the right outfit, it would look okay. Uh, but look at what I'm wearing. I, I you love you like bright. I like bright. You like yeah. bright. Yeah. And I was really drawn to that. Yeah. And I think I could pull it off. That's, this, this is, is so, so pretty. you. Actually. Yeah. It's yeah. beautiful. And I can wear it every Easter yeah. and to every birthday party I go to. <laughs> you can look like the confetti, my confetti cake. cake. Yep, it'll be my celebration top. It's so cute. It's a, the um, yoke detail is gorgeous. I love it. It is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it reminds me of like window panes. Yeah, or something. yeah. It's. I would recommend this. I have thoroughly enjoyed knitting this sweater, and um, I did size down. I, uh, from what I went one size down than I normally would because I didn't want it to be too loose and I'm really glad I did. Built in. Yes. Yeah. And I'm really glad I did because it's, it's perfect. It's so soft. I know. Too. The yarn is lovely. So the yarn is, hold on. I always get this. So we bought this when we went to the last festival, the Quarta. And it's um, Entre Sur Lane. I think I'm saying that right. Well, yeah. I can talk about that. Okay. Do you know what the colorway is? I think it says it on there. Um, okay, so this, this is, the mohair is um, Rose Pudra. Is that right, Carrie? <laughs> I don't know. It's powder, rose powder. Oh, rose powder. Okay. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. And what is that in English? Sac uh, Rondis. What does that mean? Uh, bag of 
Easter, Easter eggs, eggs? Easter eggs? Or candies? berries, candies, candies. I don't, I'm not sure. Hmm. Bag of berries, bag of berries. Cute. Sorry for those who speak French. <laughs> Maybe somebody can tell us. <laughs> yes. <laughs> We're trying. Oh yeah. yeah. Google Translate. Oh yes. Yeah. Anyways, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Yeah. It's cute. And I do think that the this mohair did tone it down a bit. Mm -hmm. Like it's still pretty colorful, but I it love did. It. Yeah, it just made it soft. Tree, yeah. Bag of treats. Bag of treats. Bag of treats. It's totally. Perfect. It looks like candy, doesn't it? Yeah, it looks like rockets. Yeah, or you know those necklaces, the candy necklaces. Right. That's what it reminds me. Cute. <laughs> yeah. Totally. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's really cute. Yeah. It is. Thanks. So yeah, I'll show it off next podcast. I'll definitely have it done. I only have like an inch left to go in the body, and then I'll do the ribbing. Nice. Mm -hmm. The colors are spectacular. I know. <laughs> it's beautiful yarn. I know. I, I bought that. some of their yarn too, but I haven't uh, knit with mm -hmm. it yet. Yeah, it's going a little bit orangier yeah. as I go down. That's cool though. Yeah, but in a nice, it almost looks like it's faded. Yeah. Which is nice. I can, I can see that. Yeah. Pretty. Love fun, it. Fun knit. Mm. Nice. Thanks. Do you want to go through? Sure. I was almost done this, but the last few days I just haven't felt like knitting. Probably because <laughs> it's hot. Yeah. Um, and I just want to lounge. <laughs> but um, I'm knitting the Bennett Sister Shawl. Another gorgeous one. Giant. What the heck? That's this way? No. Okay. That way. Whoa. So it's a triangle shawl. Oh my gosh. So pretty. And I'm knitting Ooh. it in full moon fibers. And the pink color on this side is petal. So you knit half of it just with the fingering weight. And then when you get to your decrease, you add mohair with your fingering weight. So this half mm -hmm. is actually two Double. yarns together. So a mohair and the fingering weight. So the petal is with the colored mohair, mm -hmm. which is this. Cool. cool. And it is... Go the pedal? Yeah, sorry, that's <laughs> <laughs> second voyage is the bow mm -hmm. It's it's gorgeous. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So nice. love it. it seems it's gonna be so snuggly. I know. So I am almost done. I'm nearing the end. I think I need to finish off with five stitches, so I'm getting close to having it done. I want to make bind off. I do too. Yeah, it's gonna be super mm -hmm. snuggly. And then I'm going to make tassels for it. So it will weight down the middle triangle. Blocking will help that too, though. Yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. And then maybe. Oh my gosh, that oh, color looks really good on it you. It does. Too. Yeah. So, That's okay. beautiful. Yeah. So it was a like a Full Moon Fibers J. Hendry collab. <laughs> so it came with. This bag from Jessica, which I love the colors on. Oh my gosh. It's similar to the giveaway bag. Yeah. It's the same style. Yeah. yeah. So the yeah. colors are beautiful. Yeah. I'm so close. It'll be done this weekend for sure. Yay! That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You're gonna wear that all the time. <laughs> I know. It I looks wear. so wearable yeah. and so cozy. It yeah. does. I love triangle shawls. Mm -hmm. Yeah, me too. I do too. They're my favorite. Yeah, yeah. They're the easiest. Then Crescent is my next, or mm -hmm. Semicircle? Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Those ones are my next favorite. Yeah. Oh. Anyways. Lovely. Yeah. Cool. Anything else? Nope. Okay. Well, I do have a whip <laughs> in this big bag. I where I got this bag. Is that zigzag stitches? Oh, yeah. yeah. Zigzag stitches, mm -hmm. right. Um, so I'm test knitting, um, and I will have to tell you, I have to look it up, designer. it's a new to me designer, um, and you'll find her patterns, sorry, her name is Elena, and she also sells wool, and it's Zola, ZolaWool.com um, and her, she's under La Belle Birthday. 
Anyways, she only has a few patterns, but they're lovely. And this is a new one that she's coming out with. And she posted it on Instagram, and I completely fell in love with it immediately. Um, and she was looking for test knitters, and I signed up. And sure enough, <laughs> I'm test knitting it. Um, I got, it's called wow. the, yeah, I'm getting pretty far on it. It's called the um, Pen Penessa. Oh, nice sweater. Carrie can put the name of it up on the bottom that of the screen. That is so nice. Isn't it that beautiful? Yeah. Like the yoke, I'm obsessed mm -hmm. with it. Yeah. I, love I just it. love it so much. Yeah. Um, it's a fairly simple construction. She does have you cast on and then pick up stitches to do knit the neck after. Mm -hmm. um, I'm sure if you didn't want to do that though you could once the pattern's out you could figure out how to yeah. do it all in one. I didn't mind doing it that it way and I great. actually think it looks really good. Yeah it does. Mm -hmm. it does. Yeah. I like doing that. Yeah. I like picking up after. Um, and then the the neckline all the ribbing on it is two by two which is actually mm -hmm. my favorite. Yeah <laughs> me too. Mm -hmm. I love two by two. Yeah. Uh, and I've have the first sleeve cast on. Um, she will be coming out with this pattern sometime in August. She is. A, she doesn't have. A, I think she doesn't have a set date yet. That's so pretty. Oh my nice. gosh, it's beautiful. Yeah, I'm really happy with mm -hmm. it. Um, her pattern calls for a shorter, um, like underarm to waist okay which I followed mm -hmm. and I tried it on and I quite like it so mm -hmm. it comes to like about here on me oh that's perfect but it'll block out a little bit yeah, yeah. Flatten, mm -hmm. and it looks really cute love it yeah and so I did nine inches and oh, then okay. there's about two in two uh inch and a half ribbing after that mm -hmm. oh that's so, good yeah yeah nice. um the yarn that I'm using we're going to talk about yarns a little bit later, but this is on my list. It's the Juniper mm. Moon Farm Patagonia Organic, Organic Merino. Mm. And it is lovely. One of my favorites. Oh my mm. gosh. So nice. Anyways, we'll, we'll talk about yarns in a bit. Yeah. Um, but I'm using the color, what is it called? Pebble with, it's like charcoal or something. I don't Oh, there it is. Is it on here? Oh, it's called anthracite. Mm -hmm. I can't even see what that is. Oh, yeah, anthracite. Anthracite. So it's these two colors. So nice. <laughs> I was picking for my stash, and this was what I had in it. Mm -hmm. And uh, I wanted high contrast. Yeah. yeah. So that's why I went with this color, these colors. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm really happy with it because it's a nice neutral yeah. to add to my wardrobe. Yeah. And they're so, the same tone. So it makes yeah, sense. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you'll hear more about that. Mm. Um, probably on our, hopefully the pattern's out when we podcast again next And then when the yes. pattern's out, you'll see June and I probably knitting it. Yeah. That is right? amazing. Yeah. Color. It is yeah. such <clears throat> a beautiful design. And I have sweaters quantity of that yarn <laughs> in, in two different colors. You probably all have sweaters quantity of that yarn because yeah. we love it. Yeah. Well, and the nice thing mm -hmm. about it too is you're only using two different colors on the I like that. chart. So yeah. if you're just dealing with two yarns yeah. through the whole chart, um, super easy to follow. Mm -hmm. uh, there's no huge long floats or anything like that, so you don't really have to deal with floats. Although... Mm -hmm. In the chart, she actually um, marks where you can put a float if you want oh, to. Oh, okay. Where you oh, can't that's nice. Isn't that nice? Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. I'm yeah. always like, when I'm trying to catch my float, yeah. I'm like, do I do it now? Yeah, yeah, I know. Did I go too far? Yeah. Like, yeah. So I, I, usually I don't. Cause I, I appreciated that. Yeah. 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 So, that's cool. Yeah. Anyways, um, great designer. I think she's going to come out with some beauties. Like I said, she's only got a few out right now, and that's like mm -hmm. number five like wow. what <laughs> that's awesome yeah i really like the look i like knitting uh, color work sweaters with where it's just one contrast color and i really like the look of them Me too. i find it highlights more the 
It's very the elegant. pattern rather than the yarn, yeah. the colors. Yeah, it's very elegant. Yeah, I really like it too. Nice. Yeah, and so that's my only one. Awesome. Yes. Yeah. Nice. Um, should I talk about my pattern? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, so I have a pattern in the works. Um, it probably won't come out until like mid August or something. Uh, I'm not sure exactly when. Um, I am designing a shawl that is in the works as well, but I had to put that aside. Um, it needed a break. It needed it. a break for me to think <laughs> it over, think it through a little bit more. And so I decided that I would design a sock <laughs> since we've been doing so much sock yeah. knitting. Mm -hmm. um, I haven't really come down with a name, what I'm going to call it yet, but it's a shorty sock. And it is stripy and it's super fun. So cute. Yeah. So this is what it looks like. Adorable. Oh, I love it. Me too. I it's cannot like, wait. I'm going to call it together. sporty shorty something. Like oh. It's so sporty looking, right? <laughs> I love it. Yeah. Isn't that cute? Mm -hmm. um, and I did cast on, I'll talk about my yarn in a sec, but I have another one. Mm -hmm. Because I wanted to knit the different sizes in the main color is the same for both but I use different color minis this one's not blocked or anything yet so it might be a little bit harder to see but so nice yeah I'm so excited so um, I am in my pattern I am going to add in instructions for short row heel mm -hmm. um, toe up and then also cuff down with heel flap and gusset so it'll be a well-rounded pattern for a mix and match <laughs> yep. yeah um, and when I'm ready for testers we will post that on Instagram oh. so make sure you're signed up to our Instagram account oh yeah <laughs> that's where it'll be yeah yeah and mm -hmm. um, I like that you're giving the option too of toe up or cuff down because yeah. everyone has their favorite style of knitting their socks. So yes. giving the options, a lot of us end up, you know, like modifying the pattern mm -hmm. to based on how we knit it, but having it just available with no thinking and trying to figure out how to reverse everything is awesome. Yeah. Well, and I, I agree. You know, everybody has their own way of knitting it. So I thought mm -hmm. I'd knit it both ways so everybody can knit it. Yeah. Do you know what mm -hmm. I mean? Yeah. Um, the yarn that I'm using, and it's amazing, um, from Polka Dot Creek, this particular, she does these amazing sock sets. Mm -hmm. um, the particular one that I'm using uh, for my pattern is Graffiti After Dark with Neon Pink and Charcoal. And it looks like this. So nice. I knit a shawl with that set. Oh, did you? Mm -hmm. Oh, right. My spring this flings, or spring right. yeah the espas tree yeah. one mm -hmm. um but anyways uh her polka dot, one, this too. is how polka dot creek sock sets come they're mm -hmm. beautiful yeah they are beautiful mm -hmm. and she's got i had a look in her shop she's got tons of different sets always mm -hmm. and they all most of them come with um like a hundred gram full skein of yarn with two 20 gram minis that's amazing yeah yeah, yeah. So it's it's perfect. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exciting! I know. Can't wait to cast on. Mm -hmm. I've been having so much fun with these. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's awesome. The thing about Patty's patterns, too, we were talking about this before we were podcasting, is that her patterns are always fun to knit. <laughs> Like, you don't do anything too complicated, but you do interesting things in them, and they're just fun oh, to knit. Good. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think uh, we are well, always happy to test for you. Yeah, and I appreciate that <laughs> yeah. a lot. You guys are great helpers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to try to focus a little more on pattern writing, so nice. we shall see. That's great. You're very good at it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yay. Well, I think my knitting queue is all full for the next uh, year with the <laughs> gonna knit what you knit, I'm going to knit what you knit, I'm going to knit your socks. <laughs> yeah, totally. The, the list just keeps piling up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, all right. So, do you want to move on to talking about yarns? 
Yeah. Mm -hmm. We've had um, several, actually, of our viewers ask us about, you know, yarn preferences and if we have any staple yarns, you know, that we tend to go to and, and you know, if we could show them and talk to them a, a little bit about them. Um, so we're going to do that uh, right now. If you don't want to hear it, you can skip forward because <laughs> yeah. after this is acquisitions. <laughs> um, uh, so who wants to start? Well, you know what? I didn't really have an opportunity to grab a bunch of yarns, and I feel like most of them will be very similar. Mm -hmm. um, but I would say to it's, start, like the staple yarn is the one that you're using for your test knit mm -hmm. is the Juniper Moon mm -hmm. Farms. Yeah. Patagonia, which I brought as Carino. well. Like, reason being is it's such a nice weight too. Like, yeah. all this anything you knit with this just feels so nice on. It does. And the yardage on this for the price point is really good. It is. So mm -hmm. you get a good deal of yarn. It's for three hundred and eighty-two yards. But it's a good price. It's yeah, a really it's like good seventeen price. dollars it's Canadian or yeah. something. Mm -hmm. Eighteen dollars yeah. Canadian. Mm -hmm. So. This is like definitely a staple. Absolutely. And I may have pretty much every color. Oh, <laughs> me too. I have lots of it. <laughs> that I can get in my stash. Yeah. So. Um, you know, I haven't knit with that yet. Oh, you should. I have, have lots of yeah. that, but I haven't knit with it yet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's great yarn. So this is also one of my favorites. I love it. Mm -hmm. um, I would, so it's a sport weight. It could be a heavy fingering or even a light DK, mm -hmm. like it's okay. on, it's a very versatile, you know, you'd have to gauge swatch, obviously, mm -hmm. to, yeah. to whatever the pattern says, but it is very versatile in yeah. that way. I've used it in DK patterns before. Yeah. The one that I'm knitting with, the test knit is a sport weight, and it's, I mm -hmm. gauge swatch perfectly for the sport weight. Nice. Um, one of the yarn, a uh, yarn that I would compare it to, which I also love, is Brooklyn Tweed Law. It yeah. feels, yeah, when it's, I looked at your sweater, I was thinking, is that Brooklyn Tweed? Yeah. Or? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I brought a couple of skeins, um, to show as well. So this is the Brooklyn Tweed, Tweed Loft, which they classify as a heavy fingering, but also could mm -hmm. be, you could use it as DK or sport as well, okay. easily. Yeah. Um, the, you get the Brooklyn Tweed, you don't get as much yardage, it is good, good yardage as well, but it's a little bit more pricey. So if you, you know, wanted just a sweater that's just as nice as Brooklyn Tweed, this is definitely mm -hmm. what And you great use. for color work because yeah. of like the toothiness of the, mm -hmm. of the wool, yeah. mm -hmm. it's really good for color work. Especially if you don't want to catch your floats. Yes. It's <laughs> amazing. And uh, in my test knit, I haven't um, blocked it at all. Like, oh, I yeah. haven't even steam blocked it, nothing. Like, that's how it oh, knit wow. up. It's that beautiful, right? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Um, yeah, so both great yarns. This is a little more affordable. Uh -huh. um, so, it you know, it depends on your price point. But this is a good substitute for the Brooklyn Tweed. Yeah, yeah for sure. Yeah. And when we're talking about, I'm just going to pull one of my out. one of my staples, I've knit so much with this yarn, and this is like super, super affordable, um, is Briggs and & Little. And I only brought one skein, but I have tons. I was just in a hurry, and uh, I like this colorway anyway. It's the, it's the Fundy, what is it called? Mm -hmm. Fundy's Bay or something? Fundy Bay. Fundy Fog. Oh, Fundy. Yeah. And Briggs and & Little um, is spun um, at a mill in... Nova Scotia, not Nova Scotia, New, New Brunswick. Brunswick, sorry, <laughs> New Brunswick, and um, okay, this is, they have different weights, so they have sport, uh, fingering slash sport weight, which would also, kind of, it's a little more rustic, but you could totally knit anything, um, that, they cut, it's great for color work, um, so they have sport weight, um, they have, um, sport weight, like, sport weight with nylon in it for socks, um, and they have, a worsted. A worsted, and then more of an Aran yeah. yeah. weight. Yeah, and for a price point, this one skein of, uh, this is the Regal, so this would be a worsted weight, um, 272 yards is $8. Yeah. 
Like, come on. Yeah. <laughs> now, it is a little more rustic. Um, so... It's not that bad. But it's, it's not, not that bad. Different from... No. Not too much different. And it, But let me tell you, this holds up so well. Like, when I pull things out of my closet that I knit years ago with Briggs & Little, it looks brand new still. It holds its shape. It, it just, it's a really hearty yarn. Yeah, it's a workhorse. It I love it. It is nice yarn. Yeah. Um, I have knit a couple of sweaters, uh, not using this weight, but the sport weight. Yeah. Um, and it's funny because it is rustic and I thought I wouldn't be able to wear it mm -hmm. because I would get too hot and then I would get itchy, but mm -hmm. it doesn't. If that breathes. doesn't happen at all, it, mm -hmm. it breathes so nicely mm -hmm. that, it, you know, you don't overheat in it no. at all. Like, yeah, it just no. kind of, you know, I don't know what happens, but it, it's just cozy. Yeah. It um, has all the magical properties of wool. Yes, it does. <laughs> uh -huh. And um, one of the sweaters that I knit, um, I use, it was a yoke sweater, and I use the, um, the Shokul. Oh, mm -hmm. right, right. Because it was color work, the mm -hmm. Shopal, uh third edition, yeah. uh, edition three as well, in the yoke. And the two yarns, even though they're so different, they go went together so yeah. well. And the co color work looks beautiful. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, with yeah, it. It does, yeah. So. It's very toothy as well. I think that's, yeah. Yeah, yeah and it's 100% wool. And there is, I found there's two different fingering weights. So they call it sport, but it's like... More, it, I don't know, it could be sport or fingering weight. There's the one for socks that has some nylon in it. It's a little scratchy, like tougher. Mm -hmm. And then they have the one that's single ply um, that's 100% wool and it's much softer. Right. So if you, if you, I would recommend that one if for your, for, you know, if you're worried a little bit about scratchiness, it's just softer. And mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. And because it's single ply, it's fluffy. Fluffy. Yeah. Yeah. It's, <laughs> and it's nice to knit with. I, yeah. Mm -hmm. I wasn't too sure about it, just feeling it from the yeah. scene, and then when I actually used it, I was very impressed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. And then, of course, we have our favorite indie dyers. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'll pull this. Yeah. I'm sure we have the same we, ones in our And bags. you've heard us talk about these over <laughs> and over, but we just mm -hmm. love them so much, mm -hmm. and they're, they're amazing makers, mm -hmm. amazing yarn dyers. And we can't say enough good things about them, but Leo and Roxy, um, Jolyn and Carrie are, they're amazing people too, mm -hmm. right? Like, cause we know them, but, and I know there is so many lovely yarn dyers out there. Mm -hmm. So I think, you know, what ends up happening is the, the ones you get to know are the ones that kind of be, become your staples mm -hmm. because you know them and you want to support them. Mm -hmm. I think too because it was a staple because they are local to us, yeah. so we got to know them a lot. It was it was more natural, it too, was. I guess, because they were yeah. close by and things like that. But mm -hmm. and usually, I would say almost every episode that we record and release, one of us has something with Leo and Roxy yeah, in yeah. it because we, we use it all mm -hmm. the time. love it so much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and it's, we and we love them. Yeah. Like they're mm -hmm. amazing people. Mm -hmm. so. And we love little red mittens. Yeah. <laughs> we do. Yeah. <laughs> and they have beautiful yarn. They do. Yeah. <laughs> and it's easy for us to access because yeah. You know, yeah. But it's but, I, I would write even if you live across the world, I would still order this oh yarn. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's lovely. Yeah. The DK for like mm -hmm. a sweater oh. or a shawl, it's like dreamy. Mm -hmm. It's so nice. It's so nice. Yeah. But there are a ton of beautiful dyers. Yes, I know there. it's hard to. So we're yeah. you know like it's it's hard to pick. So we we kind of go went with what who we know best. Yeah, right? <laughs> and I went with what I knit with the most. That's yes, what, like me I went too. with the ones that I just tend to knit with the most. Yeah, mm -hmm. and then for me yeah. also yeah. Yeah. fibers. Like <laughs> I knew that we were gonna be bringing in. That's why I didn't bring any. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So. Jessica and Allison, of course, we, we mm -hmm. love them as well. They're the sweetest, sweetest ladies, and mm -hmm. they, you know, their aesthetic is different. It's than so unique. Else. It is. Yeah. It's very vibrant. Mm -hmm. It's very, but then they also have, can have very soft yeah. colors as well. Yeah. And 
We just love them. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't knit with this yet. I, I don't even want to. Like, uh, to me, this is the perfect color pink, and it's their peony. <laughs> and I just it's pull it out all the time. I'm like, I don't want to break the skein. <laughs> Um, and then like for, well, June brought the Briggs and Little for worsted weight, mm -hmm. but I was thinking about worsted weight yarn and what I'd like to use. And I don't knit with worsted weight very often. So mm -hmm. I yeah. did, couldn't really pick anything. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 Um, I know, you know, there's knit picks, of course, they mm -hmm. have really nice worsted weight. Mm -hmm. yeah. Barocco too. Barocco yeah. Well. Well, I, oh yeah. I knit with Barocco often. Yeah. 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 Yep. Great affordable yarn. It yeah. is. And very accessible. Like it's everywhere. So yeah. it's so easy to get your hands on. And it's great mm -hmm. for, um, you know, if you're gift knitting and people don't know how to properly take care of, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. if they wash the wool, it might shrink, right? But yeah. with Barocco, you can wash it and dry mm -hmm. it and it's perfectly fine. Oh, right? yeah. Because yeah. yeah. it's 50 50. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which yeah. is nice. Very nice. Yeah. I would say too yeah. for me, um, for a couple more that I love is uh, for because we're on the sock kick, right? Mm -hmm. um, I am gravi I always gravitate to Cozy Knitter, yeah. Timber Yarns, yeah. mm -hmm. and Rose Hill Yarns. Yeah. So mm -hmm. Timber Yarns and Cozy Knitter, they're self striping yarns, just like blow my mind every time I yeah. knit with them. And then Rose Hill's colors and the way she puts colors together is amazing. It's so, so amazing. most of my socks are those three dyers mm -hmm. when I knit with them. Yeah. I love trying others and like Leon Roxy, I just knit a pair of socks with that, mm -hmm. but I tend to use Leon Roxy for like shawls or sweaters more than I would socks right. oftentimes. Yeah. So yeah. 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 So I have two two more. Oh okay. Oh. So one that I guess sorry. That's okay. One that I knit also gravitate to is Art Phil. <gasps> oh I was gonna pick them out too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They so they're um, I don't know why I just I love their bell. I've only knit with the bell yarn. Um, it's so nice. It's got such a nice bounce to it. She has beautiful colors. So um, soft. It's Canadian. Um, she's in Quebec. And uh, yeah, I just, I just, I've knit with this quite a few times. And it, I it love is it. It's very nice. Yeah. yeah. And then I also have to mention Ginger Snap. Oh, I've knit yes. Lots of, of her. Yeah. 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 And I just have a few skeins. And she as well has her own aesthetic. I have. Like one thing that she has recently, more recently done is her pixel yarn. So cute. So yeah, this is so cute. This is a, um, a sock set and it, when you knit this up, it's pixelated. It's just yeah. the coolest, like a fade. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and she just, I don't know, I love her colors. I and knit. They're, and they're sweet. I uh, knit um, two yeah. pairs of socks with her pi pixelated. Mm -hmm. And they're so pretty and so yeah. unique. And I just like, I look at them in my sock, knitted sock box, mm -hmm. and I'm like, they're too pretty to wear. I know I should yeah. wear them, but I'm, but I'm like, I yeah. don't want to wreck them though. <laughs> and what I love too yeah. about Ginger Snap and Excuse Kim me. and Colin is one, they both are dying, right? So mm -hmm. yeah, Colin gets in there and tries, but then they have, like Kim has amazing bags that she yeah. does, and Colin does amazing like, clothing stuff with like screen printing and stuff on it like they have such mm -hmm. a great little shop it's they so do. fun yeah, yeah. they're and a great they're team amazing. they are yeah. and super and look nice at these people. colors I like know. so beautiful <laughs> <laughs> anyway i feel bad because i feel like we could keep mentioning and uh, we could go on and go on, on. Like, literally it's this is just yeah. the tip of the iceberg yeah <laughs> but those but, are mainly our state like yeah. what's just been shown is pretty much what we typically rotate through when we're knitting yeah and then we sprinkle in all the other great ones too yeah. right absolutely Yes. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I agree. Yeah. yeah. So, um, acquisitions? Acquisitions. Did you get your June self? Oh, yes, I did. You might as well show that. Okay. Speaking of cozy knitter, <laughs> um, Patty and I have the cozy knitter sock of the month, and June sock was called Candy Shop, and it's super cute. Oh, my God. That's Look at those so colors. Get so colorway from June. Yeah. It's a month for you. <laughs> it's so pretty. Yeah, it's so pretty. Yeah, I love it. I can't wait to knit this up. Oh, up. me too. I wish I didn't have so much on the needles right now. Mm -hmm. Pass them on today. <laughs> one of those needs to buy one of those sock knitting machines. And you just do tubes. Just, just do tubes. Have to the toes. Oh yeah, we'd have to get someone else to do those. Yeah. <laughs> um. 
Yeah, so that's a super fun mm -hmm. uh, sock club that you can Talked get. Whenever. Yeah, you can get it every month, or if you don't, you can not get it for a month. And yeah, play. it's very flexible. Mm -hmm. um, and then the other one that I signed up for, you guys get a dollar for this too, mm -hmm. is Camp Fiber wow. yarns. Those colors. What? So pretty. Is that like a daiquiri or something? What's the drink? It is well? strawberry lemonade. Um, yum. So with her sock mm. club, she is inspired, her yarn is inspired by different drinks. So she dyes up the yarn and then she also makes up these little cards that have recipes for the drink that inspired mm -hmm. the yarn, which is cool. So this one is strawberry lemonade. It is so pretty. And it has a re the recipe, you know, to on how to make strawberry lemonade mm -hmm. from scratch. And then also she gives you suggestions if you want to make it an adult Spike drink. It. Spike it. <laughs> nice. You can add some vodka to this one. Oh, it is <laughs> from scratch. So pretty, though. Hmm. Um, her, when, the way she packages her sets up to or, or it's really cute she puts them in the vacuum seal That's bag fun. but they're then and this is the yarn is in the bag and then you get the you know a little thank you card and then the recipe and then she wraps it in a paper bag and wraps twine around it and then a little tag with your name on it cute. like it's like so just adorable those added touches are amazing. i know yeah. i love it yeah. it's so cute That's Really nice. Yeah. And the recipes all look so good. Delicious. Mm -hmm. We're going to have to get together yes. and make them all. Yes. <laughs> mm -hmm. Do you have any other acquisitions? I just have yes, one. Yes, you do. Go for it. Okay, so most of you have probably seen that Hohe released that new lace fade and lace boxy mm -hmm. and I like so instantly pretty. wanted to make it so and then I was like I need new yarn to make this, <laughs> this sweater so then I started looking at fade sets but now I'm like not certain I want to make the boxy so I'm waiting it out but I still got this super cute fade which so I nice. think goes like that I love how subtle it is <clears throat> and it's from Hidden Pond Yarns and her name is, I believe it's Katya. Hmm. That's her logo. Her I have a nice little hand. Oh, I'm holding mm -hmm. this. Hand hand. And Thank she's you. based out of Quebec. I'd never heard nice. of her before, but as soon as you sent us a photo her of your shop, amazing, right? Eh? I really? followed her on Instagram and had a look at her Etsy <laughs> shop. <laughs> yeah. So That's beautiful. Nice. Yeah. And I love the name of her company. Yeah. Yeah. Hidden Pawn Yarn. But and like super quick, like I placed the order. She mm -hmm. messaged me like very shortly after I put the order, just to thank mm -hmm. me for placing the order and that to let me know she was getting it out. And quick turnaround, like it was mm -hmm. amazing service. That's awesome. So yeah, yeah check cute out her card. Etsy shop. Super cute card yeah. with a little thank you on the back of it. Aww. Um, so yeah, so I'm either I'm just sitting on it for a minute mm -hmm. while I finish my shawl. Yeah. Either I'm sticking with the boxy. But I'm not going to do the mohair lace. I'm just going to do the lace in this and fade it. Hmm. Fun. Only because cool. the last time, like with the rocket tee, which I still have to finish. Right. Mm -hmm. I struggled with keeping my tension even between the mohair sections and the fingering white yeah. sections. Mm -hmm. Like it looked like where there was yarn overs where it was mohair, it was sloppy to me, and I couldn't figure out. So I want to just keep the tension very even. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You could mm -hmm. just add mohair yeah. to the yarn yeah. and do those sections. Oh, right. So there is mohair in it, oh, yeah. and it would just mm -hmm. add, add that contrast. Yeah, add, I thought about that too, like putting mm -hmm. in like a, I have like a really pale blue mm -hmm. mohair or pretty. a white mohair, yeah. right? Yeah. Just to soften it yeah. between them. Yeah. I don't know. Either that or I'm going to just do the Andrew Mowry So Faded, which has been in my queue to make for years yes. now. Yeah. <laughs> which and I think it would look really good in this It colors. would. It would. Totally. Mm -hmm. Nice. So it's going to be my next cast on. I just haven't decided <laughs> what sweater. What sweater I'm <laughs> You'll get there. <laughs> um... um so, did you have any more? No, I forgot to bring one. Oh. Mm -hmm. 
Um, I went on a little bit. I go on these little kicks where I all of a sudden need hundreds of stitch markers. <laughs> <laughs> she needs them. I do, for some reason. <laughs> Um, and actually, these ones I purchased a little while ago and just kept forgetting to show them on the podcast. Um, but they're really, really nice, and they are from Tracy from Grizzly Knits. Um, she Love has all they're beautiful stitch mm -hmm. markers. Uh, she always sends her stitch markers in this cute little satchel, which is adorable. Oh, really cute. Sends you a nice little note, and then. These are the ones that I got. I do have more of hers as well. Um, these are the most recent ones. Those are so pretty. And I love the satchel. Like I keep I keep them in there and it keeps them together yeah, separate. separate. Oh, nice. There's a yeah. little heart on there. Can, That's pretty. Isn't that cute? Yeah. That's what it got. She posted mm -hmm. a post. This was a while ago on um, it on Instagram with the little heart, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I have to go shopping. <laughs> it's like jewelry for your knitting Yeah, project. I know. So cute. Yeah. Um, and then, because I just love Bonpo Knits and her stitch markers, and I mm -hmm. need more stitch markers for so some cute. reason. So Bonpo Knits is also, she's in Ontario, in Picton. <clears throat> and um, she sent you a nice little card. There's her logo. She sent me a couple extra here, which are cute. Oh my gosh, those are the extra? Yeah. So nice. And then I got four little <laughs> packs. Hopefully you can see. These are little sheep. Hmm. Uh, this is like a <laughs> summer like theme. <laughs> Donut, sunglasses, water, or lemonade, and ice cream cone. Fun. Yeah. That's making me hungry. This is <laughs> like a, oh, it's got like a little octopus and a seahorse and a puffer fish. Uh -huh. Cute. Cute. And then this, this is a sheep, llama, and bunny rabbit. Adorable. Oh, she makes the best stitch markers. They're mm -hmm. so cute. Yeah. <clears throat> Thank you. Oh my gosh, that is adorable. I have that set from her. Do you? Yeah. So cute. I, don't, I love the eyeless bunny. Or is that the back of the bunny? <laughs> the, the back. I don't know. I think it's the face. Yeah. Okay. The it tail would be a little more. That's true. But being it wouldn't yeah. be pink. Yeah, that's true. Cute. And then... Four. <laughs> Sorry, I told you I went crazy. Um, I've never ordered from this stitch um, maker before. She, her company is called Gentle Island Knits, and I'll show you. They're very nice. I haven't used them yet, but I just think they're really beautiful. Oh, pretty. So a set of flowers. Oops. Yeah. And then she had oh. these. Bubbly little animals, and they're he, like he, those are they're good. like they're not <laughs> flat. They they're just so adorable. And then this is what caught my eye: is she had oh my God. a set Jeez. with Winnie the Pooh, Tigger, Piglet, mm -hmm. and Eeyore. <laughs> <laughs> That's adorable. I know. <laughs> Oh, that's so fun. They're like the baby ones, I don't too. know. I can't. I could look real quick. Gentle Island Knits. Oh, it says PEI. Oh, PEI. Oh, right. Montague PEI. Yeah. Very yeah. cute. Yeah. Very cute. Hmm. Oh, those are adorable. Yeah, they oh. are. Yeah. Stitch markers are so much fun. Oh, they are. They're hard to resist. Yeah. <laughs> that's true. Mm -hmm. I kind of put them all in my little satchel. <laughs> are you done looking? Yeah. Okay. Adorable. And I think that's it. Nice. Awesome. Sorry, I'm still admiring. I feel like I've <laughs> shown enough, so I'll save the rest for next time. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh, the rest. <laughs> well, I did get a package today, mm -hmm. and I've been dying to order yarn from her. I can't remember her name. 
Anyways, it's Crux Knits. Oh. Have you heard of her? You should just show it. She <laughs> is, I will. She's, where is she I from? Her. Crux Fibers or something? Crux yeah. Fibers, yeah. yeah. Um, I ordered a lot. <laughs> I thought if I'm going to, I might as well. She, I think she does, does she not do natural dyeing? Yeah. Oh, this is blue face Lester. Lester. Yeah, Lester. 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 It's all fingering weight. Oh, and I ordered really? a variety of colors. She's in Yukon. Yukon. Oh, right. right. Hand dyed sustainable yarns, hand processed spinning fiber. And I just love, I like, I follow her on Instagram and I just love mm -hmm. looking at her posts. They're so much fun. Um, so this is going to be for a sweater. This That's color. Pretty. That's pretty. Uh, and then, oh my gosh. I know, it's so nice. It's tall, like pinky yellow. Yeah. And white horse, so this one says. And then, can you both of those? Two? Oh yeah, <laughs> these two? I think I got those. And then I got these as well. So many pretty colors though. Beautiful. Yeah. And the skeins feel so full. They don't do. They? So, how many? 420 yards. yards. Wow. Is it finger light? Yes. It's pretty plump. Yeah. It's very, very nice. Is it kind of light? I don't know. It's really nice. Yeah. You can tell once this is washed, it's going to bloom and soften oh, yeah. so nicely. I like these two together. Yeah. Anyways, I was really happy to see this come in today. Yeah. That's fun. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. She has something called yarn pickles. What? Yarn pickles are dyed with all the leftover dyes found on our tools, tables, and dye stocks. The pickles hang out either in the dye studio or in their jars before getting placed on heat. In the summer, the pickles solar dye in the sun, and she usually and she'll like put them in. Oh my god! That's so jars. Jars. That is so cool. That's cute. And then does she sell? Oh, is that what it looks like underneath? Yeah. <gasps> wow. That's pickle number six. What? Wow. I want a pickle. Yarn. That's cool. <laughs> a lace mohair pickle. Wow. <laughs> pickle two hundred two and pickle two hundred one. This is so cool. <laughs> that is cool. <laughs> That's cute. Brittany is her name. Brittany. Aww. Beautiful yarns. Beautiful. Now I know that I'm going to be shopping again. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Um, yeah, so that is all my acquisitions. Nice. Um, yeah. So everything that we talked about, I would, I'm going to do show notes and put it all in our show notes. So if you're interested, you can hop on Ravelry um, and have a look. I'll have everything linked. Yeah, sounds good. Yeah. Don't forget about our sock knit along mm -hmm. and the awesome prizes you can win at the end of the year. Put them in there. Keep an eye on Instagram for Patty's sock. Yeah. Test that will be out. It's going to be a couple weeks. Yep. So, you know, I'll, as soon as I'm ready, though, I will po we will post on Instagram and let yep. you know. <clears throat> and that's all. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And yeah, we hope you're having a great summer. Yeah. Yeah. I can't believe it's half over. I know. Don't say that. I know. It's going too fast. <laughs> it is. <laughs> Long weekend is next weekend. Yes. yes. Crazy. That's exciting. Yeah. And we're mm -hmm. heading up to the cottage for a couple of weeks, the beginning nice. of August. So I'm excited about that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. All right, everybody. Well, enjoy your weekend. And we'll talk to you soon. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Happy knitting. Happy knitting. Bye. Bye.